something like 20 to 25 minutes is the um, time that it takes to sort of get into and to, to lose yourself in the piece. It's partly losing yourself in time because there's no time markers in the music. Uh, what happens in the microtones really becomes much more prominent when it's loud. If you play this music very soft, you hear the instrument. If you play it very loud, you begin to really hear the microtones. There's one piece, which be that, the piece which was that first piece where I tuned a musician. When you turn it up, it's where it becomes really loud, like 120 dB. You hear all those overtones, and the cello disappears. The other thing is just to simply make the music more prominent. It should be up front. It should be actually the music you're listening to that's, that's you know, in forward and the film a little bit backward. I started to make films in 65, uh, working with Elaine Summers, who was a choreographer and filmmaker which led me to the Judson Dance Theater where all of the uh, Post Cunningham dance activity was happening in New York, uh, a justly famous place. And I worked with a lot of dancers during that period doing films, uh, but at the same time I started to develop some multiple image uh, film things. Uh, and the first one of those was done at Judson in 1968, late 68. And it was that, at that time that I did actually the first music of, of mine uh, in December of 68, uh, using first the organ of the uh, Judson Church. very cumbersome to try to, to do those works outside of New York uh, on the road and so I finally uh, needed to develop something else that I could do uh, reasonably well and to shift away from the nature material that I was filming at the time. And so I had this idea of, of the movement of people working. And uh, I expected to do it for like three years and move on to something else, but in fact it was uh, so fantastic in the, in the travel that I was doing to collect the material, which was usually one or two months a year, uh, working in strange countries like China, Japan, and Sumatra, for instance, uh, was really very good. So I just kept on doing it. And then I amassed all of this material, which is about 25 hours of, of footage. Uh, there's no relationship between the music and the film or virtually anything, actually. Partly because the edict of the day, because it was the post-Cunningham period, uh, was that that was a bad thing to do. So there's no, there's no sync and there's no particular uh, relationship at all. Uh, the idea was sort of in the air and I uh, really liked the idea. And so that was the in, in intention of making the music, and it's the only music I ever made. So from the very first, that was what I was making. That's great. Yeah. Would you like to say anything? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. I want to drink my wine now. Yeah.